I've got a question with me right here of which I have to find the value of x for you. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so. And if you have already subscribed, thank you so, so, so much. All right, so let's solve this one. We first copy it the way it looks. Okay, so this is how it looks. Okay, so after copying, we apply the laws of indices. So let me just show you something here. If you have uh, m power a, uh, p, uh, m power a, b, this is the same as m power a and b there, okay? So you see, this is the same as uh, this. Or you can write it as uh, m power b and a outside there, okay? So this, we need to use it, okay, right here. So we're going to separate. We shall say 3 power x and the power 2 there minus 3 power x is equal to 6, okay? It's equal to 6 here. Let me write it properly. It's equal to 6. So the next thing here, we just say let y be equal to 3 power x. What is inside here and here? So when we say that, we are going to say y, okay? So this y power x minus, okay? y is equal to a 6. I guess you, you know what I've done here. So let me, let, me, let me just write it properly so that you see. This is y, right here I'm substituting this y because we said y is equal to 3 power x. So here we're going to remain with this, y power 2 minus a y here, okay, which is equal to a 6, okay? So this is a quadratic equation. If you know quadratic equations, this is a quadratic equation, so we can put it in standard form. We shall have y power 2 minus uh, y is equal to, sorry, minus, minus 6 is equal to a 0. So now this quadratic equation is now in standard form. So the next thing here will just be to solve the quadratic equation. So we shall solve it like this. Let me solve it from here. Let me use a different marker. So we have uh, y power 2. We find two numbers such that when we multiply them, they give us negative 1. And when we add them, they give, I mean, when we multiply them, they give us negative 6. And when we add them, they give us a, a negative uh, 1. So that is a negative 3y and a positive uh, 2 there. So here we shall say minus 6 is equal to 0. I guess you know how to solve quadratic equations. So here we group. So what is it that is common here and here? It's x. I mean, it's y. We shall remain with y minus 3 here plus a 2 here. y minus a 3 is equal to 0. So next, we're going to say y plus 2 and uh, y minus 3 is equal to 0. So these are just steps of solving a quadratic equation. So if you know how to solve the quadratic equation, you can go with the the method that uh, you you know, okay? So this is what uh, we have right now. We say y plus two is equal to zero, y minus three is equal to zero, of which y will just be equal to negative two for this one, and also here y will be equal to a three, okay? So now, after doing this, we come to this one here, okay? So let's cut here. We come to this one where we said let y be equal to 3 power x, this one. So we, we know that uh, we have found the value of y to be equal to 3. So we're going to write 3 here is equal to 3 power x. So here the bases are the same. We know that the power here is 1. So we're going to say x is equal to 1 is uh, the solution. For this one, this, we can't use it. Okay, because if we put it here, it will, it will be it will be negative two is equal to three power x. Okay, 
So now to solve for x here, we are supposed to apply the logs. Because of the negative sign, because of the negative sign, we can't apply the logs. So this one won't work. Our only solution is uh, 1. x is equal to 1. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. This has been Sichamba Jacob. Bye-bye.